Myanmar military junta has made a surprising call to its opponents amidst ongoing conflict. Since the military coup in February 2021, Myanmar has been embroiled in a struggle for power, with widespread protests against the junta's rule. In a recent report by Al Jazeera, the State Administration Council, or SAC, Myanmar's military rulers have urged anti-coup forces to lay down their arms and engage in political dialogue. This unexpected appeal comes as the junta faces increasing pressure from armed groups that have taken control of large parts of the country. The SAC statement targeted ethnic armed organizations and the People's Defense Forces, which have united against the military regime. The junta framed their proposal as a path to political resolution, inviting these groups to abandon what it termed a terrorist way and to resolve issues through political means. This includes electoral processes that they claim would pave the way for peace and development. However, this overture was swiftly rejected by the National Unity Government, or NUG. A coalition of lawmakers ousted during the coup. NUG spokesperson Nay Phonlat dismissed the military's proposal, stating it was not worth considering. The NUG has been pivotal in organizing resistance against the junta and forming the People's Defense Forces. After the military's brutal crackdown on peaceful protests, the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners reports that since the coup, the military has killed over 5,700 people and detained nearly 21,000. United Nations investigations indicate a disturbing rise in crimes against humanity, which only underscores the desperation of the situation. In response to the escalating conflict, the SAC is attempting to frame their call for talks as part of an effort to organize new elections. They have hinted at a census to ensure accurate voter lists, but critics argue this is merely a tactic to lend legitimacy to their rule. Organizations like Progressive Voice have condemned the junta's plans for elections as a sham, a desperate move to create a facade of democracy while maintaining authoritarian control. As one expert noted, this situation reflects a long history of military regimes in Myanmar, which have offered elections only to continue their oppressive tactics. As the situation develops, the people of Myanmar remain resilient. The fight for democracy and justice continues, as civil society groups and international observers watch closely.